hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a new functionality in mesh Manfor which allows us to turn any skeletal mesh and any bone hierarchy into a meta human with a dna asset so let's get started uh, i have a meta human already downloaded this is uh, required because we're gonna grab the functionality from this meta human and uh, upload it onto another skeletal mesh right so uh, let's see the skeletal mesh. We want to make a meta human. Uh, this is Shaggy. Uh, this is uh, the skeletal mesh we want to turn into a meta human. It has uh, a full body skeleton and uh, several uh, face bone bones, right? So our meta human is a little bit more complex. Uh, it has hundreds of bones and uh, it's not a full body. Uh, a skeletal mesh right so uh, let's uh, get started uh, first thing uh, we have to do is uh, go to tools for our meta human uh, uh, character tools and transfer DNA uh, here uh, in uh, the target mesh we will select our mesh we want to convert into a meta human and uh, we will get the boundaries, right? Uh, as uh, you, you try to, you, you need to uh, match as much as uh, bones you can uh, for these operations. But if uh, some bones uh, don't have a correspondent, like you jaw is called on uh, this uh, shaggy character, I can search for jaw in uh, the metahuman uh, uh, skeleton, right? So now I have jaw corresponding to facial C jaw. Uh, I will do the same for the eye. Uh, I think on the meta human is called eye. And I will do the same for the right eye as well. Okay, uh, let's uh, move a little bit forward. Uh, we have here uh, the start bone. And uh, usually a meta human DNA asset start, uh, starts uh, from a spine zero four. We will do the same here. It's a spine zero for uh, starting bone. And uh, when uh, your uh, skeletons uh, don't have the same hierarchy and uh, the rotations, uh, the rotations, local bone rotations are different for your skeletal meshes, you need to match bone pivots. This has to be enabled. Uh, if your uh, skeletons are the same, but just the mesh is different, you can disable this, right? Uh, another thing, transfer used expression curves. So for each uh, expression curves that use, uh, uses these bones uh, that we've selected here, then uh, a curve like uh, here on the side uh, will be created, right? And uh, ne next we have transfer used expression morph targets. So for each expression, it will create the correctives as well, right? So uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, let's press OK. It's uh, pretty quick. It's a small uh, uh, skeleton hierarchy. And uh, now we have to see uh, what's going on, right? So if we search for expressions here, we will see that we have all the expressions that are related to the bones that we've uh, selected in our uh, transfer right so now let's uh let's do another thing let's save this uh character here and uh let's create a post-process animation blueprint for it and uh, this is it and let's call this shaggy underscore post process and uh next thing now we need to assign our post process Let's save and uh, let's open it. We will make a simple post process of blueprint uh, here. What we need to add is the rig logic node and uh, let's connect the pins. Okay, and now let's go back to Poser. Now we can test our uh, MetaHuman functionality. So let's start with the uh, jaw. And let's see, we will see that the rotation is different than what uh, we would expect. That's because 
our meta human had a different bone orientation than our skeletal mesh, but we can fix this. We can select jaw open. Just open the jaw and bake DNA expression. Uh, let's uh, fix jaw right. Let's uh, bake this down. Let's fix uh, jaw left. Let's do the same for jaw forward. Maybe just a little bit rotate it down. Okay. And then jaw back. And let's pick it down. Okay. Uh, now uh, that uh, we've uh, fixed the uh, jaw uh, related expressions, let's uh, see them again. Okay. Let's uh, save this mesh. And let's move a little bit forward. Uh, in uh, the main window, if we select jaw, uh, we can uh, see that our correctives for our expressions uh, are also highlighted, same as the default uh, uh, MetaHuman setup. And uh, let's uh, let's fix uh, some uh, stuff here because we can use the correctives as well. Just small fix here. Okay. And uh, let's do the same for the left side, right? Let's uh, open our corrective. Let's go to Sculpt Tool. You can create uh, these uh, correctives in uh, uh, any other uh, uh, tool like uh, default MetaHuman you can export and import with create from mesh files it's up to you I'm just gonna do it in mesh morpher because it's easier and uh, let's close this as well and now uh, let's test it out we have jaw right jaw open jaw left you can see the correctives are automatically applied because uh, rig logic works uh, behind the scenes. This is Joe forward and Joe back. Okay, uh, we let's save this and uh, let's quickly test it uh, in a real scenario here. Let's uh, assign this mesh to a blueprint actor. <coughs> Okay. Let's create quickly a uh, level sequence. And let's add our actor here. We will see that we don't have our uh, control rig board, but that's no problem. We will fix it immediately. Okay. If we go in uh, the persona window, the search for default, and let's add our face control board rig. Now our rig will be automatically added. Okay. 
can see our rig here and if uh, we move uh, the jaw we will see that our uh, jaw meta human functionality is here right so uh, what if uh, we want to have uh, different expressions like well uh, at this point we don't have quarter full because we didn't have uh, the bones right for it to uh, to transfer so uh, let's uh, go back to mesh morpher and uh, search for corner pool corner pool and uh, we have these uh, uh, expressions here and just select the names you want and copy names go to your mesh and in the morph target window uh, right click and add or click here add and just add your expressions and uh, let's uh, quickly sculpt this i'm not a very good uh, uh, sculptor but uh, let's see i'm just gonna do it like this it's fine okay and let's do it on the other side as well to my smoothing it's fine okay let's save and uh, let's check back uh, in uh, the sequencer and we will see that now we have also corner pool so you can do this basically with any character any uh, skeleton hierarchy uh, absolutely anything right so uh, another thing uh, for the eyes uh, you have uh, to do uh, the same thing if uh, we go to poser and check out uh, the eye expressions let's search for look this mesh is a little bit of uh, very low topology look at it it's just few vertices it's a little bit hard to sculpt but uh, this is uh, this was the plan so if uh, we check i look down we will see that our bone rotation is not correct right so we select the expression select the bone and just look down right and just break down the expression uh we can also uh do the same as we did uh, with the jaw if uh, select if we select here blink just because we don't have any eyelid uh, bones for our skeletal mesh we need to sculpt the blinks right i'm just gonna open uh the eye blink uh, morph target i'm just gonna jump into it i'm gonna make a small brush here zero zero three i'm just gonna do it here just a, a blink right you could also create this in a blender or whatever you feel more comfortable with and uh, now let's test the blink in our uh, sequence here And let's see it and now well, we also have a uh, blink right so uh, this is how you create a uh, metahuman uh, DNA asset for any skeletal mesh you can uh, have all the freedom you want for your characters and uh, it's pretty easy to implement it even though you don't have artist skills like me I just uh, use uh, mesh morpher to uh, get things going and uh yeah i hope you like this video guys uh don't forget to hit the like button if you did and hit this like button if you didn't and uh, see you around bye